Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we'll begin um, the statics curriculum for secondary 3 and we will begin with something called the uh, probability. Probability is a common, wide known uh, term in our lives. So for example, we can say that today it's probable that it will rain or if you uh, walk into this street, you probably may meet your friend, or something like that. Um, probability is built on some kind of clues and evidences that let you say some that something is probable or uh, something is going to happen from your prediction. For example, if I say today probably it will rain, I build that over a clue or an evidence. So um, the sky may have a lot of dark clouds. So I say today it's going to rain. Or if I say if you walk into this street, you probably can meet your friend because your friend lives in this street or he goes a lot into this street so probably you may meet him but in some cases we cannot collect the uh, sufficient clues and evidences so we can't uh, predict the probability of something to happen so instead we are going to define this probability in order to find enough clues and evidence to tell that something is probably going to happen so this is the concept of probability in statics. Now we uh, will know some um, definitions of terms that are common in probability, like something called the uh, random experiment. random experiment. The name shows that it's an experiment which is done randomly. It's done randomly in order to show the probability of something to happen. The random experiment is an experiment in which we can um, specify in advance all the outcomes of this experiment but we cannot decide or define a certain outcome that it will happen this means for example in a uh, scientific experiment in a scientific exp experiment you carry out the experiment then you carry out the observations and the interpretation finally you get the conclusion but in the random experiment you may specify in advance the outcomes you may specify what would happen before you carry out the experiment like when you um, toss a coin of course, when you toss a coin, the outcomes that uh, are specified in this random experiment, either it will be head, head will appear, or it will be tail. So these two are all the outcomes that we have in our random experiments. But we cannot decide which of these will appear. So if I throw a coin, I cannot tell that it will be head or it will be tail. I can say it may be head or it may be tail. So this is the probability. So these are the outcomes and this is the definition of the random experiment. Now, another example. If you um, throw a dice or roll a dice the probable outcomes 
will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Any number of these may appear on one of the six faces of the dice. So these are the outcomes. But we cannot detect which of these numbers will appear. So it's the same thing. We have another uh, definition like something called the sample set. And it's related to the random experiment. Simply, this is the sample set. When we throw a dice, the possible outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So a sample set is a set which contains the samples or the outcomes in a random experiment. The sample set is a set which contains all the possible or the probable outcomes that may happen when we carry out a random experiment. So in this uh, random experiment, like throwing a dice, the sample set is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, but we um, type it like a mathematical set between those two brackets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we refer to the sample set as a capital S. So, um, this was an introduction to the probability. The next time we will have some examples for sample sets of random experiments. And until the next time, I thank you for watching and see you.